Jhana just makes the mind calm. It, it will support the practice of becoming a sotapanna, because a sotapanna must let go of its desire to cling to the body. The desire not to get old, not to get sick, not to die. With, with the sotapanna, he will understand that the mental suffering arises from the cravings for, for not to get old, not to get sick, and not to die. And if you, want, if you don't want to suffer due to aging, sickness, and death, then you must not have any desire for the body, not to get old, get sick, or die. You have to let the body go. Let the body get old, get sick, or die. If you have no jhana, you will not be able to let go. Even, the, even if you know that your suffering is caused by your attachment to your body. But if you have jhana, and when you know that you, you, your suffering is caused by your attachment to your body, then you, if you don't want to be, you don't want to suffer, then you just let the body go, leave the body alone. You can do this with jhana as your support.